overall violence up by 25% in a year. At least 125 civilians dead in the last two weeks. Iraq, 10 years after Sudan, is again a hellhole of violence. More than a thousand dead in the last month. Iran, lots of red lines crossed without real penalty, and the march to nuclear independence still seemingly underway. Syria, an epic bloodbath. The UN begs for help as half the country is in immediate need of humanitarian aid. Libya. Remember this in Ottawa after Gaddafi was toppled? A new, brighter world was promised. The Libyan people must now chart their own democratic course. Well, not so much. Benghazi, just one example of Al-Qaeda's new presence in Libya, with indications it's spreading to neighboring Chad and Mauritania. Those celebrations in Tahrir Square in Cairo now seem a distant memory as the struggle for rights in Egypt continues, with the Muslim Brotherhood government just propped up by more than a billion dollars in U.S. military aid. And now, Turkey, even peaceful, stable, strategic Turkey, suddenly using water can and tear gas on its own people. There's more, but you get the point. Many countries, many different issues, widespread tension and violence. How worried should we be? Are things worse than they were before 9-11? Should this have been expected? Do we share the blame? All good questions. Time now for some answers. All right, that is a pretty bleak picture. Is that the real picture? Is it as explosive as it seems? It is the real picture, Peter. It is explosive. There is an arc of violence running through the region, as you said in the introduction. Uh, the Sunni-Shia divide has been inflamed, different reasons, different places, but inflamed. It's like a dynamite fuse that's lit and is just slithering right through the region. It is explosive. Uh -huh. Um, I would I would argue that um, the term explosive itself is is kind of a like a sad pun at describing the situation there, um, largely because I mean there are definitely hot spots and it, it's a it's an era it's an area that's struggling for political independence, struggling for representation for all of its communities, um, and there there are significant contradictions going on in almost every one of those countries. But to pan across and and treat them as if this is a monolith that spreads across the region is is deeply problematic. What is spreading? What is consistent across the region is that you've got Publics who want to see uh, a better life. They want uh, they want to realize their aspirations, and those aspirations are being inhibited by authoritarianism. So the, the 